It's leg day! Yes! I started my workout with some knee rehab as well as booty banded exercises, but here you can see my warm up sets for hip thrusts. So I started warming up with some lighter weights relative to what I'm used to lifting and then I started increasing before starting my working sets at 100 kilos and increasing each set from there even if only by a couple of kilos so going up to 102.5 going up to 105 kilos and then going up to 107.5 five sets, five reps. I'm still being cautious of my knees, so I'm more so going up and down, but with this exercise, it's really good to have a slight torso lean and really drive forward so that your knee goes over your toe, targeting your quads and your glutes of that front leg. Today's superset is eight to 10 reps per side with these dumbbell deficit lunges, then supersetting with lying leg curls with a four second tempo down. So as you can see, I come up and then I slowly bring the weight back down. Resting for a minute and a half between sets, I'm going to do four sets. Next up, we have a straddle lift. So 10 reps of this exercise, hinging at the hips. And as you come down, make sure that your neck is in line with your spine, returning to the top, squeezing your glutes without hyperextending. We don't want to arch our lower back. 30 degree angled, full range of motion, deficit kickback. So here you can see I'm standing on a weight plate and I'm also allowing my leg to go right forward and extend the movement throughout instead of just stopping side by side to my other foot. You can see I'm using a light weight and really focusing on the movement with a small squeeze at the top, focusing on my muscle mind connection. And to finish off this killer workout, I'm using a Fit Within Julie medium resistance band just above my knees, performing 100 frog pumps. So I did two sets of these and boy oh boy, my glutes were on fire. Oh my gosh. The struggle is real, that leg workout was an absolute killer. Phew! Since I have a desk job and I do spend a lot of time sitting, I'm going to finish up with a quick power walk on the treadmill to get in some steps. In the shower, freshen up, do some work and get on to breakfast. Okay, I'm showered fresh, I just did a massive chit chat on my Instagram story and now it is time for me to show you my breakfast. So I did soak some oats last night with some coffee and some sugar-free drinking chocolate, but I'm going to finish it off right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> so these are the oats soaked overnight. They were so runny last night and now they're all nice and thick. I added in a little bit more water and we're going to add in the protein powder next. I just got the new almond chopped caramel bar protein and I am absolutely loving it. I've used it every day this week. Next up we have the yogurt layer. So you could of course use a flavored yogurt, you could use an unsweetened plain yogurt, a protein yogurt, or you could add protein powder to a plain yogurt and make it your own. I'm going to use the Macromite salted caramel almond nut butter powder. Time to layer it up. And then the topping is just the rest of the oats. And then totally optional, but you can top it with dairy-free little chop chips. I made an absolute mess on the bench, but oh my gosh, how good does that look? Breakfast was delicious, and now it's time to make my snack for later on today because I set some jelly last night and I just need to finish it. And now I'm going to mix some protein plus yogurt with some almond protein white hot chocolate drinking powder. This is insane with yogurt. Seriously, it can't take me anywhere. <laughs> How cool was that? This will be my afternoon snack later on. With this one, I'm literally just gonna add some yogurt to it. And then let's see if this yogurt is thick enough. It's time to put it in the fridge. Okay, so I've just been working all morning, but it is after 12, I am hungry. It is lunchtime, so I'm going to show you what Ross and I are having for lunch. For Ross's lunch, I'm just doing the chicken with some Cajun seasoning and a spray of olive oil. For my chicken, I wanted to try something different, so I actually soaked it in this black raspberry vinaigrette overnight. This double drawer air fryer was such a good buy. We literally use it every day. So just turn it on, hit air fryer, hit start. And while the chicken is cooking, I'll prepare the vegetables. So I'm gonna have some fresh salad and some roasted capsicum while Ross is gonna have some boiled veg. When there's only 10 minutes left, all I do is add in my capsicum. 
and a quick spray of olive oil. Meanwhile, Ross's veggies are on to boil. I've been pretty hungry this week on my shred, so I've been focusing on volume, which means lots of salads and lots of low calorie vegetables. How good does that look? Yum! Super simple lunches for us both. Carbs post lunch, potato chips. I am loving the seasoning, so I'm gonna put that on. Just like that, they are done. I love them crispy. Would you like some chips with your ketchup? I feel like having an iced chai later on today, so I'm just preparing it now. All you need to do is add some hot water, stir it all around so that it can dissolve, and then if you want to, add in an extra sweetener. You can put it in the fridge to cool down, or of course you could add in some ice and cold water and serve as is. Around three or four is when I usually get some sweet cravings, so I always make sure that I have a snack planned in, usually a chai latte and some jelly. Just did some steps on the treadmill while I did my newest Instagram post and edited my workout video Instagram story first if you're not already following me there make sure you go along and hit that follow button but it is time for me to go for a bike ride dad sent my bike up earlier this week along with my piano and i just feel like riding outside in the sun for dinner tonight i've put ross's chicken here my chicken there we're gonna have some cajun i'm also going to try some brussels sprouts in the air fryer ross's chips are ready to go on i've got some capsicum cooking here for him and my veg in there with the chicken. And just like that, dinner is served. Bye for tea. <laughs> chips. Okay, so that wraps up my full day of eating video as well as my leg sesh. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And next week, I'll be taking my shredding progress photos. So I'll make sure I give you a full update on how many steps I'm doing, what my nutrition's looking like, and, you know, I guess a progress photo comparison. Let me know if you want to see that. I'll catch you in the next video.